Are you familiar with former FBI agents uh, Garrett O'Boyle and Marcus Allen? Again, I'm familiar with the names. Thank you. Both Allen and O'Boyle testified before the Weaponization Committee in May. Were you aware of that? Uh, yes, ma'am. Do you know who Cash Patel is, if you know? He was uh, an individual who served in a number of different roles, both up here on Thank the Hill you. and in the executive branch. Thank you. Here's another picture. It's the checks that Serapin sent to both O'Boyle and Allen. Each check was for $255,194. Let me say that again. These men were paid $255,194 after they testified as so-called whistleblowers. And it should be noted uh, that it says here, as it says, for holding Does the anyone line. need any further proof that these allegations are ginned up, corrupt political stunts advanced by those who don't want to see us follow the law? They actually uh, haven't received the money. I have unanimous consent request, Mr. Chairman, of a tweet Matthew Foldy uh, put out here during this hearing. Chairman, Jordan invited some of these so-called whistleblowers to testify before the Weaponization Subcommittee in May. As it turns out, two of the witnesses were ultimately paid $250,000 each for their testimony, money raised in part by former Trump aide Cash Patel and paid via a check whose memo line reads, quote, for holding the line. Right off the bat, Jerry Nadler lies about whistleblower getting $250,000. He says here, Marcus Allen has not received $250,000. He has not received or cashed the check that Kyle Serafin posted online. Enter that in the record. Into the record.